All right then, gang, so now I can create and delete Ninja records on the website, which is cool. And in both cases, once that's done, we get redirected back to the homepage right here. But what I'd like to do now is show a little success message for both of these cases right at the top of the page. And we can do that by using what's known as a flash message in Laravel, which is when we can store a message within the session just temporarily. And in the views, we can then access that message from the session on the next page load, and we can show it to the user. So let's give this a whirl. So then the way we do this is coming to where we redirect the user inside the store function where we create a ninja, but also inside the destroy function where we delete a ninja. And when we perform that redirect, we can tack on another function at the end of this called with. And this allows us to tack on some kind of key and value pair to the session, which we can then access in the next page load from the session. So I could add a key right here called success because we've successfully at this point added a new ninja. And then the value for this could be something like ninja created. All right, so now I'm gonna do the same thing down here from the destroy function when we redirect to the index page as well. So again, the value of the key is gonna be success, but this time we'll say ninja deleted, all right? Okay then, so now we can access these success messages from the next page load on this homepage. So then we said we wanna output the success message at the very top of the file above the navbar itself. And to do that, we'll need to add it to the layout view. So let's open that file right up and add it in at the top of the page, right below the opening body tag. And we can do a little live check first of all to see if we have a success message attached to the current session. So we can do this by using the if directive and then inside parentheses, use the session function to access the current session and pass in success as an argument. So this checks if we have the success key in the current session. And if we do, we're gonna output some kind of template. And by the way, this success key should be whatever you called the key inside the controller functions because that's what this is looking for right here. Anyway, we can close this if check by saying at end if down here. And then we're gonna render some content inside this. So I'm just gonna paste in a little bit of template code right here, which is a div with some Tailwind classes to color it green and center the text. And inside that div, we just output the success value from the session itself. And that value will be the message we added in those controller functions. All right, cool. So let's try this out in a browser. All right, so let's go to create a new ninja. I'm gonna create one called Bowser, ninja skill 70, the biography. I like firing flame balls. And then down here, we'll select the Lang Gerlach and we'll create the ninja. And now we see this flash message at the top coming from the session. Awesome, so that works. But notice when I refresh the page or go to a different page, by the way, that message is going to disappear because it's only there in the session temporarily for the next page load. All right, so let's delete the ninja now and see if it works for this. Delete, and yet we see ninja deleted. Let's go to a different page just to see if this goes. And yes, it does. All right, sweet. So all working, my friends.